Uh, hello, YouTubers. I'm back here uh, behind Butternut Apartments. Back here behind the Chinese Buffet and uh, Ace Hardware. And, um, well, can you see me? Okay, here I am. Growing a beard. Everybody else has got one. Okay, so here we are. That's where my daughter lives, Anna, and grandkids. They live over here in Butternut Creek, Charlotte, Michigan. Now I'm going to take y'all back in these woods. We got the Czech Express there. A lot of people get hung up in that. It's probably going to be a long video. It'll take about 10 minutes. But it's going through some woods. I cleared a path. Uh, it takes me, it cuts you across the corner of town. Cuts you through with the Dollar General. Takes you up by the junkyard. Didn't get, don't got no weapons on me. But I'm on video. So here's the, and the dumpsters down there. There's the, there's the Czech Express and the Dollar General's uh, Admiral Smoke Shop. Top buffet, top. You get it? Top. It's it's number one. Top, 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 top. Okay. Here we go. Try to find me a club on the way through here. So here we go. We're entering these woods. This is a path I cleared this morning. Yeah, I found a pipe or something. I need a walking stick. So we're coming out down here. Now we're coming up behind the uh, hardware store. I just ate a big leftover turkey dinner with my kid, daughter Anna and grandkids, four grandkids. Went and bought her a birthday cake. Uh, Kriana is uh, five today. We call her Cree Cree. And uh, there's some woods over there that goes over back over to the golf course. On another video, I will show you. There's two abandoned houses out here. Back in there, there's two foundations and a basement. I think I'll put that on another video. So here we go. People used to come back here and dump. Or someone dumped the chair out. Lazy boy, I need one. Let's see how good condition it's in. That's too rough. Not as good as mine. Okay. Here we go. I gotta find my other path I cut out this morning. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so this... Takes you back in here. I cleared a little path this morning. I cut a couple tree limbs down and what have you. It's still a little brushy. There's a garbage can lid or something right there. Toilet seat looks like. Like out of an RV. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's a lawnmower. That's a lawn boy cover. So, proceeding on down the little trail. Maybe that's a good walking stick. Let me alter it. That'll, that'll be my starter walking stick. And then, uh, I'll find something better. See? Pretty good size stick. If I find something better, I'll uh, I'll trade it in. So I think I cleared a path over there, but I'll go this way. I right, know this is my path right here. I cleared, I made a clearing through here. There's a hundred paths back here. There's a thousand deer paths back here. It's literally just path after path. It'd be a really good place for, for the city to put it like a... Uh, I got off my path. It'd be a good place for the city to put like a 
dirt bike trails or quad trails or something it'd be out of this world awesome there's all kinds of hills out here and ditches it'd be a totally awesome there goes a bunny I got off my trail I got off my path okay back on back on my path I didn't bring my gloves or nothing today so now we're back in here got a little clearing I think we might be coming up on one of these basements I guess there was houses back here once upon a time yeah this is the uh, the foundation of the house one of them and see where it falls off into the basement that's the basement There's an old piece of the house. There's another piece of foundation over there. Must have been an old, like old, old back. This must have been back when Charlotte was first established. Maybe in the 1800s or something. This has been here a long time. Anyways, let me get going. This video is going to be long, but it's interesting if you can hang with me. I cleared this path here. cleared a bunch of tree limbs and stuff out of the way up there at the top of the hill is the drainage for the city the hobos have took the lid off of it uh, some kid could fall in there and be gone forever it's about 10 feet deep I kind of got off my path So it's back here. Here we go. There are paths back here, and there's another another basement over there. But I'm trying to get home now. Um, this is a new path I'm on. There's somebody's somebody's beanie. Carhartt, damn, I better take that home. <sighs> yep. I'll take that home with me. Okay, now I'm back on my trail. Look at that tree's getting ready to fall. That one just up earth. That one just came out of the ground not too long ago, probably a couple days ago when we had that snow. Probably got too heavy. Be amazing what you can find. Look at that. Car hat beanie. That's probably twenty dollars. I just got it found it. I'll take it home and wash it. I'm going through some rough times, went through a divorce and lost practically everything I owned in my name up for twelve years of collecting and saving and borrowing and everything else. Now I got a couple old trucks and uh few dollars and I had a hernia I just got out of there about three weeks ago I had my surgery and uh, all I'm allowed to do is walk I rode my bike yesterday a little bit and I think I hurt hurt it I did I did maybe tore something but hopefully it's not uh, too severe I don't, I don't want to go back through that again so here I had an old drainage ditch and it, and it gave way the culvert broke off now it's going uphill instead of downhill so that fills up full of water down there and that's a drainage probably coming from the back of the car wash or the four dealer so we'll keep going this can be a long video but it'll be worth it it's it's interesting back here now this is a trail i think the city used for a long time to come back here to, to clean the storm drain I'm going to show you that storm drain. I didn't know I was on that path. So there's a storm drain up here. i got to be careful not to drop my phone down in it. This is like the city city sewer, city drainage ditch. 
That's where the city used to come back here and dump. It's all kinds of clay tile and sewer pipe, six foot sewer pipe, broken up pieces. The city must have been coming back here dumping for a long time. So, there's the city drain. That comes, that comes out of that big thing right there. That's the drainage for this retention area. And you can see there, uh, the hobos have taken the lid off it. Uh, it's too big for me to put back, otherwise I would. That thing weighs probably 300 pounds, cast iron. Uh, looks like some, somebody's building, making meth down here. Those are meth tubes, I think. Uh, someone's down here cooking meth, I think. We're using that water down in there, and there's a blender. There's a blanket, they had it for shelter. There was a rope going down in there. I don't know if they were dipping water out there and drinking it, but that's... That's fucking runoff water, probably full of oil and chemicals and shit. I don't know if they'd be that stupid or not, but anyways. Now we're heading back up. Uh, that goes to the golf course up that hill. I found that the other day. You go up over that hill, and you go to the golf course. But this would be an outstanding, outstanding place to build like a ride park for kids and for adults and for whoever uh they could put all kinds of paths back here um and they wouldn't have to even be paved they could put dirt paths back here for snowmobiles uh for equestrian or hiking bike bicycling um it would be out of this world amazing if they did something with this land i don't think uh i don't think it's owned privately I think it's owned by the city so maybe if they ever have a city council i might go talk to them and just give them a suggestion you know uh this is a, a this is a absolute entirely beautiful piece of land back here it's kind of a retention it's kind of low lying there's kind of like hills all around it but i've been through here at all four seasons and it doesn't flood and they've got that dra big drain ditch so uh it would just be outstanding. They could they could come back here with chainsaws and, and get a truck back here. And uh, I'm sure kids came back here once upon a time. That road's big enough to get a car down. Kids probably came back here and partied and drank and got high and all that other good stuff, you know, when you're a kid. So there's like another, where some kind of big retention right there. Someone threw a bunch of old used tires and shit in it garbage cans so now I just passed I think the last business I'm coming up to a residential area now these are houses uh, these are houses back on a on a gravel road that comes through the end of town by the hospital and then if you take that road past those houses down to Washington uh, the kids cousin Rod Lee has a body shop down there um anyways i'm back on trail i'm back on path uh yeah 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 there's the houses so i'm getting close to the outlet up here it isn't very much further it's just up to uh it's, it's quite a nice shortcut and if you like hiking you like the woods it's pretty awesome uh, i think all the at this point I think all the hobos have packed up and left, went south or went to Lansing. I haven't confronted none at all um, on the trip here or the trip home yet. I'm not going to say 100% yet because I'm not out of the woods yet. You know, you get it? Out of the woods? Okay, so here we go. I think that stick's too heavy. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to save my hat, though. Okay, I might be dry by the time I get home. I can wear it tomorrow. Okay, so now we're coming up into this clearing. During the summertime, this you can't even walk through this. All these little twigs and trees and weeds are so tight that you ain't no way you're getting through it. So in the distance up there, there's a junkyard, a big junkyard, guy buys scrap. And then right next to the junkyard is um, Savannah and Anna's cousin Rod, Rod Lee. He's got an awesome body shop, got a super nice, 
got a 550 rollback and he does really good work if you ever need some body work or towing done I recommend him he's an awesome guy okay so here we go we're almost out we're coming up to the clearing I'll take you on another video this was a long video but where, the, where I'm gonna come out now is I'm gonna come out here on a side street by McDonald's up there is the junkyard and Rod Lee and then, and then another subdivision well an older subdivision from the 1920s 30s so coming up to the clearing up here you can see houses up there and see cars there's I found that earlier that's like a pickup truck bed like a 1945 Ford pickup bed uh, it's buried this was a dumping ground people come back here and dump stuff for years back here uh, but scrap is so low no one will ever mess with it no one will touch it it'll lay there until scrap gets to if it ever gets back to 400 a ton like it was with me and uh, me and Rod's uh, with me and the kids uh, uncle Kevin, me and him were scrapping. It was $400 a ton here back uh, during the recession. We were scrapping everything. Anything you, anything that was on the side of the road, anything copper was $5 a pound. Scrap was $400 a ton. Brass was about $3. Um, we worked together for a couple years. Uh, did, did pretty good scrapping. And then everybody got into it. Then the price plummeted. Um... But anyways, you can see, there's uh, up there, the sun's awful bright, but up there on top of that hill, that's Hayes Green Beach. Uh, well, it used to be Hayes Green Beach, but now it's uh, Sparrow Charlotte. That's where I had my hernia surgery. And then over here, we got just a residential house. He's got a really nice barn and, and a nice layout. And we're almost out of the woods. I made it. No hobos killed me or attacked me. Uh, I didn't even see none. All the tents were gone. There's the woods straight through there goes right to my daughter's and straight out through here about five five blocks is uh, where I'm staying with somebody. Um, here's one of the little paths I made a couple weeks ago when it was snowing. I came through here. Uh, but this is my little path. And that brings me right out to this little parking ride. Um like a little parking right here so see that's an electric electric company a guy that does electrician his electrician business there's the, uh, the the grain silo there's the water tower behind those trees there's the city junkyard next door is Rod Lee body shop uh, there's the old train station straight through there now it's a Mexican cantina so here I am I'm out of the woods, I made it. No hobos killed me. Still pretty awesome woods. They're still really, really dense. Michigan woods are dense even in the winter. You can't see 500 feet through there. The hobos sometimes live here year round, but we had a really, really hard freeze uh, a couple weeks ago. Got down in the teens, got rotten. And then uh, the last few days it's been in the 40s. Sunshine and I'm out walking today and vid taking a video. So that was only about maybe maybe a mile through there. If you go the other way, it's about two miles. So I got about four blocks home to the place I'm, I'm staying with uh, someone that's helping me out. And I um, hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, more to come. Uh, follow me and share me. Thank you. Goodbye. Adios. Shalom. God bless.